In the center of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex in Arlington at AT&T Stadium. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Washington Redskins and the Dallas Cowboys. Now a play fake here on first down. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Cowboy fans hoping to see Bryant back after the bye week. He had the knee injury. We haven't seen him since week three against Chicago. Let's have 11 catches on the season thus far. Mm -hmm. You know he's just chomping at the bit for the chance to get back on the field and make those types of Des Bryant plays that we've all come to expect. And how we well has Dak Prescott played? Done it largely without Des yeah, Bryant. Be another weapon for it. So whether it's him or Tony Robo getting Des Bryant back, that really helps the offense. The linebacker William Compton in on the tackle. And that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. And they just did not get the snap away in time. And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. And frankly, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL, and a lot of that is the speed at the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college, they were safeties. They moved them up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses, and now we're seeing it in the NFL, those same guys using their speed to make plays in the backfield, similar to that one. Out there. Here's Prescott. Going up top. And this is caught at the 20. So the flag is for the very rare illegal forward pass penalty. Not often that a quarterback forgets where the line of scrimmage is. They have an innate sense about it. On this play, the quarterback did. Now the six-year man Chris Jones on to punt it away. Back deep for the Redskins, Jamison Crowder. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Ten Cousins. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Partner, the first time I heard about Jamison Crowder, I was talking with the coaching staff at Duke, and they mentioned his maturity. This guy was like a pro when he was a sophomore at Duke. He looked like a pro in week seven, 108 yards, his first 100-yard game of the season. And I thought that Washington staff did a really nice job being creative with him, and having him run some of the routes that Jordan Reed, their normal starting tight end, would have run, but he was out with injury. He was looking for Matt Jones that time. A quick pivot here to discuss something you and I were going over this morning, and that's Miami. Uh, Jay Ajayi, two straight games over 200 yards, and they're really starting to come into life. Won their last two games. They're now three and four. And a little note of melancholy, though. Arian Foster, who signed with Miami this past offseason, announced his retirement. Had a great career, especially with the Houston Texans. Yeah, sad to see him go. Had an NFL rushing leading year. Also had four Pro Bowls under his belt. And he will go down. 
on a Cowboys sack. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. We've got a third and 11. They'll run it now out of the gun. <laughs> and he'll get it up to... And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So on fourth down, the Redskins will call on Tressway to punt it away. Lucky Whitehead back deep for Dallas. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? But you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> he hits Beasley right side. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. Now Prescott. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Defense comes to the line now, first and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. I know quick first half of play as we send you over to our headquarters in Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley for our EA Sports Halftime Report. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, it's time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Jordan Reed was the intended target. Hey, well, we have a second. Let's give that interesting stat that our crew dug up for four and three versus three and four teams. 48% of teams that start out four and three make the playoffs, just 17% of three and four squads. That's almost daunting, isn't it? But let's take a quick look at it with the teams that are four and three and three and four. 
So if you're four Let's and three, go. some teams that I'm really keeping an eye on towards making a playoff drive, Pittsburgh. When they get Big Ben back, look out. They're extremely dangerous. And another one may surprise you, the Detroit Lions. They've won their last three in exciting fashion, and Matt Stafford's playing really, really well. At the three and four teams, San Diego. They were so snake bit early. Now they've won two in a row. Keep a strong eye out for them. And last but not least, Cincinnati. They know how to win. It's time for them to crank things up. down. Here's Cousins. He's got time. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Well, Charles, during our production meeting yesterday, the topic of MVP came up, and you listed a couple guys you see up at the top of the heap. Who do you have? Well, it is an election year, right? So I'm going with a ticket for a couple of these, all right? <laughs> Julio Jones, wide receiver, Matt Ryan, quarterback yeah. in Atlanta. Running back Ezekiel Elliott, quarterback Dak Prescott in Dallas. But I think the guy that's probably been overlooked has been Mr. Do-It-All, Mr. Versatility, David Johnson in Arizona. Boy, he's been good. 681 rushing yards, eight touchdowns already. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Five yards to gain here on third down. Action now, Cousins. He finds his target, it's Crowder. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around eight to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well ex They come out here in the eye. Now a first down carry by Jones. And that winds up a decent run, and it also takes us to the two-minute warning. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down, it's Jones. Yeah, and now a timeout called by the Cowboys' defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So on comes the kicker, Dustin Hopkins, in a big spot. This for the lead in the final stages. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And still nothing on the scoreboard. It remains a scoreless tie. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Come on, let's go! Ryan 38! Ryan 38! They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got time in the pocket. Drops it underneath. Elliott. Give him two yards on that play. And it'll be second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Here's Prescott. He finds his target, Terrence Williams. 
It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. They'll look to throw now on first down. And this one is incomplete. He was looking for Terrence Williams that time. And that'll bring up second down. So just about a minute to go here, tie ball game. As fans, we love free football. But the guys in the field don't. They're going to attack and go for the win right now. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It'll be a two-yard gain. And that'll lead here to a third down. And they're going to speed things up here. Now Prescott. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Dante Whitner. And they have possession. And they have it at the 38-yard line. Out comes a Redskin offense now as they get set to begin another possession. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Cousins to throw. Caught on the right side. Reed. And he's brought down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the offense has it first and 10. Now Cousins hands to Jones. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. So now it all comes down to Dustin Hopkins. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So now it all comes down to Dustin Hopkins. This will be from 53 for the win. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And still nothing on the scoreboard. It remains a scoreless tie. So it was a golden chance to go ahead here in the final moments, but he misses for a second time in this game. Brandon, either one of those go, and they might be on their way to a victory. Instead, they're going to have to hold on here defensively just to force overtime. Hey, here we go. Here we go. What? None. Ah. They go back to the air here after the INT. His throw. Six or fumbles the ball that gets picked up by the defense, and they score. The game is over at that point. Now it's Chris Thompson on the return. And an excellent return there as he's up to the 35 and make it the 40-yard line. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, 
that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it down and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed. And that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. The first throw in overtime now for Cousins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. And that is incomplete. So the defensive holding penalty here, Charles. You get outside of five yards downfield and you get grabby with an offensive player, the flag will come out every time. So here we go, first and ten now. After the penalty, it's Jones. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. See if they stay on the ground for second down. One man in the backfield, that's Jones. And he'll get it up the middle. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Now a first throw here in overtime. Surveying the field. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Here's Tressway now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Their defense did its job. Got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it. But they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Yeah, part one is done. Now part two. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Second down following the run. Four down, four down. Check, check. Bryant, the lone receiver left. Here's Prescott. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he's brought down after. 
foot for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports.